WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. That mix goes like this. The Dow is off 205. The S&P is off 17. Well, the Nasdaq is up 13, and the semis are up 9, and the trannies are up 240, and the Russell's back 12. That's our mixed bag. Gold isn't mixed. It's uh, trading lower, down 19 bucks, 1813, sitting right at its uh, daily profile support level. Silver is trading down 29 pennies at 2096. Lights recruit is off 30 cents, trading at 12063. Natural gas off a buck 30. 30 year treasury is down about one point, trading at 131.18. So let's spend a little time here. We'll kind of shift back and forth. Let's go take a look at the white background cash indice charts out there. Uh, the things that I will point out to you are what? Well, you can see that the Russell. New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ Composite, they've got those black diagonal lines. That's a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal that has been triggered. Just being triggered doesn't mean a thing and ain't got that swing. And the way that we get that swing is you'd get a bullish reversal candle. If we got that, then what you'd be looking at, that would be signaling that price at least would make a counter trend move up to its oscillator and change line out there. Otherwise, with regard to the other indices out there, no TD night counts worth uh, really focusing in on, no other bottoming signals. And in fact, if we move back to the black background charts there, what we have is a series of A to B equals CD patterns that are already underway, have been underway for quite some time. Let's take a look at those with regard to the indices out here. Where the heck? There we go. And here you'll see in the core indices, the A to B equals CD down patterns out there. And the way that this will work is we use the A to B equals CD as like a price projection tool out there. And so it gives us target zones. For example, the case of the Dow, short of generating some type of bullish reversal candle, price should go target 29,539 or that general area. That's 1.272 expansion. The case of the S&P, it's already made the 1.272 expansion. And so its next level would be down at 34,98. And the NASDAQ 100, the next level to the downside, 10,502. The Russell 2000 is tinkering with its May 12 swing point. A close below 1701.14 says you get to 15.74. The semis, even though they're trading a little higher, they need to get down to 25.95 to at least get to the one to one. A to B equals C D to the downside. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you on a wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.